welcome to the next Let's Build. This is the next installment of my Ruby on Rails series where we'll actually be building more of an e-commerce type of app. And within that, we'll have products, prices, um, who it's sold by, of course, using our user scaffolding, the condition it's in, and more notably, the add to cart functionality. So a user can add an item to a cart, it can remove an item, and then be directed back to their cart, which is empty at this case. And then the user can continue to shop if they want to. This series will kind of dive into some new, new ideas in terms of how to handle something like a shopping cart or an e-commerce cart. What it won't do is go into depth on how to actually like check out and do payment processing. That's a whole nother can of worms to talk about. So that might be something in the future I do, but you can definitely feel free to take this app and extend it to your own liking. The whole idea of the app was built behind a site called Reverb, which is a place to basically buy and sell instruments or gear for musicians. And I kind of just took that similar concept and ran with it. This is obviously not as feature rich, but it is kind of the same idea where there's more or less an e-commerce setup and you can buy and sell things. So. Uh, at this point, you just see the front face of the store, but if you were to be a current user, you can sign in and actually sell things. So that's how these get actually listed on the site. You can append a title, a price, model, description, select from a brand of which we propagate these fields manually in our models, which I'll get into later in the series, and all the conditions. And of course, you can upload a file of the actual instrument you're selling. A great way to extend this is to allow up multiple uploads. So something like a gem called Cocoon would work. It is dependent on jQuery. So if you're trying to avoid jQuery, maybe you use um, a similar method I used in a few series back where we use Vue.js to append things to a form over and over and over again. So you can always add things that have without having to deal with just being able to only upload one thing. So that and more is in this series. So I'll basically dive in in the next video, but I wanted to do a quick overview of what we're actually building and what's taking shape here. So there's a lot under the hood and hopefully you're ready. This might be a little bit longer of a series, but I'm gonna hopefully try to condense it all to be a little quicker than the past few have been because I know time is of the essence. So. Hopefully you enjoy this. If you do, uh, appreciate a like or subscribe, whatever you want to do. And I will see you in the very next video.